Get out your quick snack and a quick drink, ladies and gentlemen, because now we have returned for the third picture that Gun Media has dropped to us of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game. And in this picture, their immediate quote is, the minute a match starts, each family member has a job to do to fortify the property. Like the hitchhiker here supplying some 12 volt juice to one of the cattle grid exits. So the notion of the family being upstairs, up top, overhead, the basement, fortifying and getting ready for the survivors to exit the basement was correct. They are stuck down there with Leatherface. The other family members are up there doing what they need to do, getting stuff ready for the survivors to eventually make their way up top. Again, I don't know if the other family members can go down in the basement with Leatherface until some doors have been opened whatnot again here uh it seems that a hitchhiker is messing with a 12 volt battery i wonder if he has to find that battery somewhere before taking it to the car or wherever he needs to take it or if it's just already sitting there and then he can just go ahead and power it up and it electrifies an exit gate so that way the victims will not be able to exit unless they somehow shut off this battery if they need tools to do it or if they can just come over and tinker with it to turn it off i don't know i'm also wondering if some of the objectives like messing with the battery and other objectives that affect escape or or the victims getting out are just controlled by certain family members. Like say, if you don't have a hitchhiker on the map, will you still be able to mess with the battery with any family member? So maybe when you have certain family members playing on the map, that makes for different exits and different strategy and different kind of pushes when it comes to having to how to think about fortification and on the victim side, having to think about how they are going to get off the map because of the choices of family members from the other players. I'm wondering if these particular things like powering up the exit gate will be something that you feel like you have to do when you start a matchup and then it kind of just becomes like the telephone and trapping the car in Friday the 13th where Jason immediately at the beginning of a match in order to get the most out of a match and get the, the victims or the survivors in that case to have the biggest roadblock when it comes to getting through a match was to try to get the telephone or to try to get a car, which were like the main objectives. So you had Jason always, more often than not, would go and trap the phone first and set traps down by the car I wonder if there's a little bit more to a match in Texas Chainsaw Massacre to help the families deviate from wanting to do the same thing over and over. Maybe there's more ways to exit, different things to do, so you have to just kind of take a guess as the family member on what you're going to do to fortify uh, as you start to see what survivors do match to match to match to match. You're going to be like, okay, we got to start putting a, a roadblock on this path because it seems like what most survivors are doing right now if there are multiple ways out of a map and uh, I just wonder over time will it become a thing where the family members are just kind of doing the same thing uh, when it comes to fortifying areas of the map so hopefully there's a lot of variety there that keep them from feeling like oh i gotta go to this same car and turn on the battery each time or i gotta go over to this same area and do this and that because this is definitely going to be where some survivor tries to appear and escape the map so it'll be nice to see how those kinds of uh, aspects of the game come into play also nice to see that the, we're getting kind of the family side of the these pictures. Uh, the first two pictures were of the victims and how they kind of start a match. So this is going to be how the family member sort of fires up and starts the match. Leatherface will have his way of starting the match down in the basement. So he'll have a whole different kind of a meta as he's going and immediately looking for the survivors down there. And then the other two family members will have their thing that they're doing up above before they eventually join Leatherface on the chase and that's how it's gonna go so there you go you guys that is the next picture and as much as I can kind of draw up from this one 
Uh, I'll blow up the picture here, make it brighter, let me know if you see anything that I just didn't catch. And that will be that for this one. I'll see you guys in the next either picture or video, whatever they drop next. Have a good one. See you later.